here from the Las Vegas Review Journal to talk entertainment. Welcome. Thank you. I like this whole getup you got you know, going kinda, today. You got the, got, the got fancy on the top, cord, kinda, cash in yeah. the middle. Yeah, I'll be in my pajamas in 40 minutes. <laughs> Velvet, you'll be doing that YouTube channel. <laughs> we were all giggling at that story. Okay. I yeah. can do that. I can do that in my sleep. Well, listen, there was no whispering last night. What a no. rocking time. I was watching your Twitter feed. You were at Aerosmith, and Johnny mm. Depp shows up and starts playing guitar on stage? Yeah, for Toys in the Attic. Now, if you know, uh, Johnny Depp is a legit guitarist and a legitimate musician, along with being a, a superstar film uh, star, Hollywood star. Mm. And he's in, a, in a Hollywood Vampires with Alice Cooper and okay. Joe Perry, who's also the guitarist for Aerosmith. The consequence is right there. That's uh, uh, Depp in the middle, Perry on the right. Steven Tyler on the left with that microphone, an unknown photographer in the middle there. He was in a lot of my feeds, this guy. The <laughs> silhouetted, there are two of them. These guys are like the Simon and Garfunkel of photographers. Anyway, it was really fun, really unannounced, and you know how it is. You never know what you're going to get when you go to an Aerosmith show other than your, your ears are going to be feeling it and your legs are going to be feeling it in mm -hmm. the end because it is a get up and, and uh, uh, dance around show. And uh, it's been great, you know. I've been, I've seen uh, two uh, shows on this run, and uh, I'm a big fan. And this mm -hmm. was great. Yeah, it was. Uh, when he announced, when Steven Tyler announced that Johnny Depp was coming out, the place kind of didn't oh. know how to respond because it was like a joke. And then he walked out. Right. Depp did. You know how these are? It's like, yeah. really? And uh, Tyler says, "You thought I was kidding, right?" <laughs> well, he threw a profanity yeah. in there. But when you're Steven Tyler, is. you can you can get some pretty pretty high. High Steven Tyler guess. is cool. Joe Perry and Steven Tyler are cool guys. They're yeah. rock stars, and we got a chance to meet them last night. Now, so what happened with this whole t-shirt thing, okay? Because there was a <laughs> Vegas Strong t-shirt. Steven Tyler, would he throw it into the crowd? Yes. Okay, Steven Tyler, then what? On, on October 1st, a week ago Tuesday, wore a, a Vegas Strong shirt uh, as a tribute to the 1 October uh, anniversary, the second anniversary. He sang Come Together by the Beatles. He then took the shirt off. And I didn't know what he did with it, but the mm -hmm. next day I wrote that he should that shirt should be in a museum or at the museum mm -hmm. at the at the uh, Park Theater. Stephen Tyler saw that and said, "We got to get the shirt back. So can we write a column asking for the shirt back?" So I did that, and the person who caught the shirt, who he threw it into the crowd, yeah. is there. Wow. Yeah, her name's Barbie Doll. <laughs> Really? Seriously. Oh, yeah. That's, that's your husband, right. Chris, on the far left. Barbie doll, uh, second from the right, with, with uh, Tyler and Joe Perry. So through the whole thing, we took the shirt back to Perry, oh who, uh, or to Tyler and Perry, uh, who had offered a meet and greet for anybody who had the shirt. So they, she gives it back, and now they're going to put that shirt up as a, as a memento in the museum at the Park Theater to memorialize, that is cool. memorialize the whole event. And it's, oh. been, a, it's been a wild ride. We wow. got to watch the show with, with Barbie and her husband last night. That's awesome. It You're was watching really the great. show with Barbie. Barbie doll. Yeah. Stephen Tyler's reading your column. Stephen what Tyler, a week you've had. We got we got Johnny Depp action, Joe Perry action, <laughs> inflatable doll action, woman named for a doll action. It was crazy. All that good stuff. Hey, listen, I love this. The composer showcase moving to the big room now, right? Yes. Reynolds Hall at Smith mm -hmm. Center. So how did this happen? It happened, oh, it only took 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the, the, the composer showcase, as you know, has been a, a monthly Wednesday night event around town for the past 13 years. The past seven at uh, Myron's Cabaret Jazz at the Smith Center. There's Keith Thompson, the mm -hmm. co-founder of it. Keith has always been wanting to take that show into the uh, Reynolds Hall and showcase the best of the composer yeah. showcase. It's it's a, original music by Las Vegas connected mm -hmm. artists, and they come out and they perform it and, and for each that? other. This is going to be Saturday night at eight at seven thirty Saturday at Reynolds Hall, and Donato Cabrera and the Las Vegas Philharmonic are going to be backing some of the uh, uh, artists in Las Vegas. Love it. Yeah, it's going to be great, and it's been a long time coming. But Donato really believes in this. Keith believes in it. Myron Martin, mm -hmm. the president of the Smith Center, believes in it. And this is, I think is going to be an annual event, and it's going to be a really really cool thing. I'm really excited about it. All right. Let's talk about Gwen Stefani. She is back at the Zappos Theater and she's back for a number of dates through October and a few in November and then and then I believe she's done, right? Yeah, she's announced the end of her run is, is uh, next spring, I believe it is. Uh, and really one of the highlight residencies we've had here. You know, it's it's it hit all the marks. It's been uh, exciting. The, the opening scene, I've always said, uh, Dana, is one of the great moments in Las Vegas it entertainment. Is. The whole thing with the uh, uh, hollaback and the bananas and the call out and the jubilee looking Follies Berger inspired set uh, and I, I know this too I interviewed Shania Twain the other day and she was uh, really motivated to bring her show into Zappos Theater after seeing this show wow. because of the way that Gwen Stefani partied and gr brought energy into that particular room. I've seen Gwen yeah. twice she, she it is incredible yeah. that she's show. great and I'm gonna go yeah. back again because I love mm -hmm. it I love yeah, it. Yeah she's great and all the way back to her no doubt years and you can tell she's done a lot of shows with no doubt on her, on her own she's a very experienced and capable and super effective performer. Right and she's uh, gorgeous too. Yeah. Gorgeous oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right well let's talk
talk real quick about Journey. They're coming to the Coliseum, right? Yes, they're the first rock band to run residency in the newly improved Coliseum at Caesars Palace beginning this weekend and throughout the month. They're back in December. Uh, there's Steve Smith, one he's of the great. great. Yeah, yeah, he's got a look up an art. He's got an art exhibit going on at a, a shop in the uh, forum shops at Caesars Palace, by the way, this weekend. He's a very good artist. Uh, Arnel Pineda is still the singer who replaced Steve Perry, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. This is one reason they have the re redesigned the room was to furnish shows like, like this that. that have GA standing areas. All right, you can read more in Katz's column, and you can listen to the podcasts. We're taking a break. We'll be back. <laughs>